Hello and welcome to Conditional Summing Tricks. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. Can you create a formula that takes into account only columns that contain a certain word? For example, is it possible to create a sum of the amounts marked as open? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. First, we'll take the basic case where we wanna sum the amounts that are marked as open. What we do is go equals sum ifs. Here we wanna add the amount column values, comma, but we only wanna include those rows where the status column value comma is equal to this. Close the function and enter. And now we've got it. This is summing the values that are open. Now that we're warmed up, let's get to the next exercise. Exercise two. What if I wanna have multiple conditions? For example, I wanna sum the amounts where the status is either open or pending. Well, sum ifs takes multiple conditions, so let's see if that'll work. Equals sum ifs. Once again, we wanna add up the amount column comma, we only want to include those rows where the status, comma, and this time instead of pointing it to a cell value, I'm just going to type in the value. Since it's a text string, I need to enclose it in quotes. And now let's add another condition. Status column, comma, is equal to pending. So now we're asking the sum is function to add up the amount column, and then we have two conditions, open and pending. Let's hit enter. We get zero. So what's going on? Here's what's going on. The sum is function uses and logic. It means the status column has to be open and the status column also has to be pending. So this is using and logic where both of these conditions must be true for the row to be included in the sum. And that's not what we want. So what are we supposed to do? Just do it manually? No. All we need to do is use two sum ifs functions. Equal sum ifs. I want to add up the amount column comma, I want to include the rows where the status value, comma, is equal to open, and I want to add to that another sum ifs function. This one says add up the amount column, include those rows where the status is equal to pending. So this is how we can use or logic with sum ifs. Basically just break it into two parts. Enter. And now we've got it. And let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. Let's say we have this range and there are some subtotals in the data. And what we wanna do is we just wanna add up the subtotal rows to get the grand total. Well, we can do that with sum ifs, equals sum ifs. Once again, we wanna add up the amount column, comma, we wanna include those rows where the department column value, comma, is equal to subtotal. Enter. Well, that's not going to work because this is not actually equal to the word subtotal. It has A, B, and C. So what are we supposed to do? Do it manually? No. No, time for another trick. All we need to do is add a wild card, which is the asterisk after subtotal. And that says include any rows where the department begins with subtotal. We could also add another asterisk to the beginning if we wanted to. Enter. And now we've got it. And those are a couple of conditional summing tricks with sum ifs. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 